Hello, this is Reverend Taka, and I'm going to speak on the theme, Failures are not permanent. Everybody fails in life, but ultimately it is the ones who do not give up and keep on trying to do their best, succeed in the long run. So don't give up. Look at a basketball legend, Michael Jordan, who failed again and again, but went on in his career to become one of the most successful sportsmen. He said, I have missed 9,000 shots in my career. I have lost about 300 games. On 22 occasions, I have been entrusted to take the game-winning shot, and I have missed. I have failed over and over again in my life, and that is why I succeed. If I ask you, what is it that keeps you from being a successful man or woman that God wants you to be. Many of us will admit that the fear for failing prevents us from attempting great things for our own lives or our own families and our organizations. No matter who you are or what you are, your fear for failure should not kill or destroy the potentialities and capabilities that God has gifted you for fulfilling His purposes for you and through you. If you have felt once or twice or even a hundred times, remember that failure is not permanent. It is temporary. Failure lasts only for a season. As we read in Ecclesiastes, there is a time to be born and a time to die. So also we can say, there is a time to succeed and a time to fail. Failures last just for a season. If you are going through a season of failure, remember, this is going to change. Now you are without a job. Now you don't have money. But this is not going to last forever. Failures are not fatal. A failure is just an event. Failure is a part of our lives. Learn to get used to it, cope with it, and move on in life. Finally, how should we deal with failures? If you have failed, first accept the responsibility for your failures. It is your failure, not someone else's. So accept responsibility. Don't put the blame on someone else for your failure and say something like, my friend made me do this or I did not pass the examinations because my parents failed to buy me a smartphone or I failed in the interview because of nepotism. I did not get the job because of backdoor appointment. Secondly, it is not wise to put the blame on your past education, saying, I did not go to a good school or college. My parents were poor and my English is poor. Don't say, I was born with a defect. The past is past. Your future awaits you. The choices you make today will decide and shape your tomorrow. Thirdly, 
Failures are blessings in disguise because through our mistakes we learn lessons for the future. Failures can teach us not to repeat our mistakes. To aspire for success, we need to taste the bitter experiences of failures. Times of failures should be used to investigate what went wrong with our work. They should lead us to reflect quietly and to review our style of functioning and our attitudes. Let your failures challenge you to move forward. Never, never admit defeat. Find another way. Remember, winners never quit and quitters never win. God bless you all. Amen.